Hello everybody, I am Mike the Zorch, and this is Zorch Reacts. Last time, we looked at Joe Cat's video, A Crap Guide to Final Fantasy, on tanks. Now, we're on the one that's important to me, for healers. Because I play a full-time healer in Final Fantasy XIV, my character Momo, my Lalabell. So, let's see if this is a crap guide. The first one wasn't. Let's find out. I love power, and I love feeling yes. powerful. It strokes my bigly wiggly and forces lesser <laughs> beings to bow down to my awesome might, lest they taste my boot between their gums. <laughs> Nothing has ever given me the same rush of adrenaline than knowing that everybody has to submit to my whims for their own safety. It makes my brain do the goody good chemicals and allows me to bow feel as though I have healer. control over this truly unfortunate reality that the universe is slowly careening into an eventual heat death and there's nothing anybody can do about it as we are inconsequential specks in this cruel and uncaring universe. But none of that matters, because look at this, I can pull my party members into a pit that kills them. I find oh, yes. that hilarious. Welcome to it, a crap guide to Final is. Fantasy. The Kazoo music it just killed me. The greatest power of all is the power to have control over people's lives, which is why the healer is the most likely party member to have a god complex. Right behind main tanks, mentors, and anybody who's an omnicrafter. <laughs> you are the most important person. That's true. I don't. But I... But I have run into some who do. Who have. Who do. Definitely. ...person in the party, as you, along with the tank, are responsible for keeping the party alive by kissing their boo-boos and slapping the bitch who made the boo-boo. That's right, as a healer, you do have to deal damage as well. Man, yep. but it's called a healer, and healers are supposed to heal, right? <laughs> Wrong! A healer's mm -hmm. job is not necessarily to heal the... I don't know how many times I've been told by tanks to not DPS and focus on healing. That's actually happened. I've actually had that happen. And the thing is, they were cr shitty tanks. The party, but rather to keep them alive. And yes, there's a difference. There's going to be a lot of downtime between heals, and you bet you're a flatus rumpus mm -hmm. that you're making the fight take longer than it has to if you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs waiting for your next chance to cast cure. What do you do when the party's full health? What do you do when the party's full health? Or even halfway up and standing? DPS the bad guys. No, I don't pay your sub. <laughs> but when the fight takes too long, it starts oh, to rub yeah, all up on everybody's nerves. And when you hit end game serves you right when the boss will wipe the party because you couldn't beat and Sure, you're for the yeah. most part keeping the party alive with a variety of healing, utility spells, some regen, some shields, but an equal amount of time you're casting those, you're also throwing in some extra DPS when time allows. Remember, DPSing is just mitigating future damage, mm -hmm. and if you're able to kill the current wave of dungeon mobs before they deplete the tank's HP, which by the way is going to regen to full by the time you reach the next mob pull anyway, yeah. what does it matter how low their HP gets? So yes, DPS when time allows. When does time allow? Well, I know you're scared of independence and thinking by yourself, but that's going to be a balancing <laughs> act you'll have to figure out. However, my rule of thumb is the minimum amount of HP a party member has has to be at is one. I try not to let it get that low. I try not to let it get that low because I don't know how good the player is that's tank that's tanking. I don't know how good they are, and I know that some mobs have tank busters. A lot of bosses have tank busters, so yeah. I don't let it get that low. But if that's too scary wary for your widow <laughs> fingies, ask yourself. Will the enemy's next attack make your party member fall on their ass? If Probably yes, heal will. so that it doesn't. If no, time to become a glare mage, motherfucker. Definitely. As long as they're alive and you're clearing the content, you're doing your job right. There is one caveat mm -hmm. to doing your job right, and that's that everybody will hate you for it. Literally. By healing, you start to generate a lot of aggro from the bad guys. So if you ever decide to heal before yeah. mob pulls in dungeons, it's important to stick close to the tank and like an ERP or stick to the air. job. Is wearing two B thigh highs, especially if you throw on a region and suddenly 800 mobs crash uh -huh. through the wall with a. It's the tank's job to keep the mobs off the healer. How to Fry Fairy's Cookbook. You can still do it, but you should know what you're getting into. Like live streaming and hoping that anybody will watch. As for your limit break, oh. we heard you like healing, so we put more healing in your healing so you can heal while you heal. Unfortunately, you won't be using any limit break aside from LB3 because LB1 and 2 just heal the party, and you already have plenty mm -hmm. of band-aids and popsicles to do that on your own. LB3, mm -hmm. however, is so potent in healing it resurrects everybody in the party back from the dead instantaneously. But yep. they will have to do- In my time as full-time healer, I've only gotten to do that once. I've only ever gotten to do that once, and it was awesome. 
do the thriller afterwards, so it's best to be safe for when you at least have enough people to make a backup dancing crew. For the flavors of healer, we have three boomers and the new kid on the block who bought a Glock and has a TikTok. The white mage is the most straightforward. You heal when a buddy is hurt and you attack when they're not. Just about everything in your arsenal is all about feeding them so much it'll make an inflation artist blush in embarrassment. You're also equipped with the best AoE skill in the entire game and the ability to never run out of mana unless you're really, really bad. Best yep. Yep. Um, I, I set it off every time it's available. Uh, I think it's lucid dreaming. I set it off every time it's available. So I keep my MP regen up constantly. And I've never run out of MP. I've never had, unless I'm in a situation where the tank is shitty and I am constantly having to cast cure. Cure 2, Cure 3 on the guy. Actually, Cure 3 is an AoE, but Cure 2 on the tank. So I'm constantly having to keep him alive because he's shitty and is not doing his mitigation, not using his mitigation, then uh, I have, in since I've gotten good at it, I have never run out of MP. Best of all, when your buddies get hurt, you can heal them to harness their BLOOD FOR THE BLOOD LIMIT! Yes. But let's say you want to play White Mage, but you like tarot readings and star signs like a suburban woman in her <laughs> mid to late 20s. Astrologian is probably for you. You draw cards that will enhance the abilities of your party members, and you fill the arena with enough space dust and constellations that you'll need five layers of sunglasses to see. Taking this job will also teach you how to build a bomb. Don't worry, it's friendly. Scholar is a weirdo who used to hang out with all the bad DPS kids, but decided to turn their life around when they met a nice girl who supports them in their new hobby. Mm -hmm. Only problem is, she knows nothing about your hobby, and you have to keep correcting her on fandom trivia. They're all about putting shields and defensive buffs that protect the party from taking damage in the first place. That way, they can guess what? DPS even more! Also, your girlfriend can get SICK! And fine. Oh, and what they're doing with the jobs now with Endwalker is they are assigning them to a more re defined role of healer where there will be pure healers and then there will be shield shield healers shielding healers where they will do more damage mitigation than healing though they're, they're still capable of healing but they will do more shielding uh, i think scholar is one of them that will be doing it and i think sage is another one that's that's that so i think they're making astrologian a pure healer and white mage is going to stay a pure healer finally the new kid on the block the sage a scholar who decided to stop being nice and pick up a gun <laughs> that shoots lasers <laughs> yes. like scholar they also put shields and protective buffs on their party members so they can spend more time shooting lasers how do they do this after seeing alphano change to the job my guess is the nullists are liquefied carbuncles rest in peace carby <laughs> and now you know how to play healer you're welcome okay that was not a crap guy. That was a actually very good advice. Um, as a healer, when you are not healing anybody, you need to be casting your your attack spells. You need to be doing DPS because it is very true. Even if even though you might not be doing as much DPS as the um, the two DPS classes jobs and you may not be doing as much damage as the tank, every little bit of damage helps. And most healers, at least White Mage, has a... Um, we have a DOT, D-O-T, we have a damage over time ability. And put that on, it may be a little bit of damage at a time, but every little bit of damage helps. Every little bit of damage helps to take down a boss. Or take down mobs so you use those abilities and white mage has at least one ability that is a aoe damage and heal combined so it has at least one of those so use it i mean use it i uh, they've gotten really good at doing healer even before he did this video every everything that he was saying in here I I've, I've done I have done except for um, letting the tank get down to 1 HP though that's only ever happened whenever uh, is that ability that um, Dark Knight uses Dark Knight uses that one ability that takes them down to 1 HP it 
so it prevents them from taking damage. It's the best mitigation in the game, but it takes them down to one. I think it's living death, living dead, or something like that. It takes them down to one HP. And that's why I, I try to keep regen on the tanks a lot, especially during the fight, so I can see their status effects. I can see their buffs and status status effects in the party list on the screen. I push it. I put it where it's not in one of my blind spots, one of my visual blind spots on the screen. And now that I got a 1080p display, I can. I've got a lot more room to put that in, so I can see when my regent's about to expire and I can cast another one and that will constantly keep the rate up for a little bit does it in ticks keeps him alive so that I have time to cast healing spells and to attack the mob at the same time to attack the mob or the boss at the same time it took a little while to get used to that it took a little while to get good at that uh, Final Fantasy XIV, it's, it basically comes down to player skill. It's not all stats and what your weapons are capable of. It is basically down to your skill, knowing when to use what and how to use it. You may not use all your abilities, but knowing that you have certain ones and knowing when to use them and what situations to use them in and you know how best to help the party there's a, you know you've got to learn those things and it's made me a really good healer anyway that's been joe cat's a crap guide to final fantasy healers uh the next one up i will do is for i think the next one is the last one is the dps that's going to be interesting. Anyway, I've been Mike Zorch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.